Good morning. Happy Thursday. Um, it's April 23rd and today's video I'm going to do a walkthrough of your quiz. You have a quiz that went live on Edge Elastic this morning. It's the 7-3 Part B quiz. It uh, has five questions on it and I'm going to go through each of the problems and give you an idea how to set them up and how to get them right. might be a good idea to even take notes if you're unsure of what you're doing with this Pythagorean theorem thing. All right, but first Pinterest, right? Um, okay, well, here's your, your schedule for today. Like I said, Lesson 3 Part B Quiz went live on Edge Elastic this morning. And uh, the problems that I'm going to be showing you are the actual ones that you will be asked to solve. I'm not going to completely solve them for you, but I'll totally help you set them up. For Pinterest, I don't speak kangaroo, but that sure looks like a last nerve warning to me. <laughs> Yeah, I think Mama Kangaroo has had all she can take there. Uh, when you're trying to figure out how this kid puts his shirt on, it's a good question. And Time Traveler, what year is it? Me, 2020, Time Traveler. That's not our best year. No. But um, hopefully it will get better. I hope. Okay, so this is number one on the quiz. All right, oh, let me fire my pen up. Number one on the quiz, I'm still not good at this writing with a mouse thing, but I'm getting better, I think. All right, all of these problems are missing a leg, okay, which makes us do one extra step that we didn't have to do when we were missing a hypotenuse. For example, this one, we know this leg right here is five feet, and we don't know this leg. So it's always leg squared plus the other leg squared on the left, and then on the right is the hypotenuse or the longest side. Longest word, longest side. All right? We make sure everything is squared. We don't know A, that's the thing we're trying to find. But 5 squared is 25, and 13 squared is, I believe that's 169. Okay? So now to get A by itself, you would subtract 25 from both sides. And that will give you a squared is equal to 144. Now, the last step is the one that most kids forget. You have to take the square root of both sides. I remember to activate the scientific calculator for Edge Elastic, so it should be there for you for the quiz. Um, and whatever this gives you, that's your missing side. I'm not going to do the whole thing, though. That would be too easy. You should be able to get it right from there. Okay, so here we have another one. Um, these are the two legs. The legs are the sides that make the right angle. So we have leg squared plus the leg we don't know squared is equal to the hypotenuse or the longest side squared. Well, 12 squared is 144. B squared is the thing we don't know. And 20 squared is gonna be 400. Okay. To get B squared by itself, you subtract 144 from both sides. Get B squared equals uh, 256. Pretty sure I'm doing math in my head. It's dangerous. Um, yeah, I think that's right. And then your last step would be to take the square root of both sides. Pretty cool. Also, by the way, um, Writing another secret word on the comment, on the private comments, has been incredibly helpful. I have learned that there are kids who are claiming they're watching the videos and aren't watching them. And I have learned who is actually watching them. And I've also learned that YouTube doesn't keep very good track on its views because more kids are watching them than I'm getting views for. So just keep, yeah. for today, let's try something different. For today, comment your favorite color. Okay, no one else sees your comments but me. So just comment your favorite color and I'll know you really watched it. And I appreciate those of you who are really watching. Okay, so this is a little bit much going on, but you basically have this right triangle here. Okay, still drawing straight lines was never easy for me. <laughs> Here's the right angle. So these are the legs, the side we don't know and the six inch side. All right, this is the hypotenuse. So you would set this up, side we don't know squared, plus side we do know squared, or leg we know squared, equals 6.5 squared, okay? 
So you would do x squared plus 6 squared is 36. Oh heck, I don't even know what this is. 6.5 squared. Well, you would you would do 6.5 times 6.5. I didn't figure it out in advance. But then you have to subtract 36 from both sides, whatever you get for that one. And then you have to remember your last step, whatever you get here, you would take the square root of both sides. See what I'm doing as I go on, I make you do more of the work and I do less of the work. That's so you learn. Okay. So this is, I believe, number four. Um, this is this one's not quite as confusing. You can clearly see this right triangle here. All right, this slant height is 25. That's our hypotenuse. Our legs are seven, and we don't know. So h squared plus seven squared equals 25 squared. H squared plus seven squared is 49. I want to say 25 squared is 625. Pretty sure that's what it is. And then you would subtract 49 from both sides. But when you've got an actual calculator, you probably should check me on that because, again, mental math. <laughs> that would give us h squared equals whatever 625 minus 49 is, 76 maybe. And then you would do the square root of both sides to get the final answer. Don't forget square root at the end. This is the last one. I don't know about you, but when I look at that, it looks like a flying saucer to me. Flying saucers are not really a thing anymore. They used to be real big in the 60s and the 70s when I was a kid, but oh well. Um, so here is our right triangle, right? There's a leg, there's a leg, and there's the hypotenuse. They're giving us this one is six. See over here, it tells you it's six from here to here. So we know one leg is six. The other leg is the one we don't know, so we'll just call it B for now. And the hypotenuse is 15. Okay, 6 squared is 36 plus B squared equals, I want to say this is 225. Then you would subtract 36 from both sides. And you get B squared equals some number, whatever you get when you do that subtraction problem. Then you take the square root of both sides and you'll be done. Okay, it does say round your answer to the nearest tenth. That means whatever our answer is, we want to have only one number after the decimal. So make sure you do that because computers are very picky. If it says round it to the nearest tenth, you better believe it wants it to the nearest tenth. Okay. So um, that's my last example for today. I just want to remind you to, in the comments on Google Classroom, comment your favorite color, and I'll know who's really watching my videos, and I'll also know who's really not watching them. This is kind of fun. I think I'm going to have to call some people out next week. All right. Well, you guys have a great Thursday. Good luck on your quiz. I know you're going to do a fabulous job, and I'll talk to you Friday. Okay. Bye.